I remember cranberry sauce and fried cabbages. <laughs> Sit down! Be thankful! Hey everybody, and welcome to a special Thanksgiving episode of the Tytoon Show. Coming to you live from the Winkler de Casa. Very exciting place. I can smell the turkey, the stuffing, all the gravy. It's ready to go. But I had to rip one of these off for you guys because I know you're eagerly waiting for it. And I know I am thankful for the people and the friends in my life. And just wanted to share a couple of other things that make me so happy at this time of year. So, without further ado, this is the thankful episode. Yeah. If I can pay my bills, I'm good. I'm coming over, found a message in my brother. Your son is coming up by the bill, by ill, by. First on my list of being thankful is the Spotify app. This app is incredible for being able to hear the golden era of music, 90s hip hop and anything new that might pique your fancy, because as much crap as I talk about everybody, there is still a lot of good out there. Uh, the app is awesome for being able to share music with your friends and have them give you recommendations as well, all from the comfort of your phone or your computer. I'm very thankful that there's apps like Spotify and other music apps out there make it super easy to find and enjoy new music. I'm also thankful to have Jay-Z still kicking around. I remember back when he retired with the Black Album, me and my buddies were thinking, man, we'll never see Hove in concert. Fast forward to a couple of albums after his post-retirement, Blueprint 3, my buddy gave me a call in the middle of the night and said, yo, I can get tickets, are you in? Man, I've never said hell yeah so fast before. That was an unbelievable concert. Jay-Z, I think he's about 50 or something. He is still rocking it like nobody's business. 444, while not my personal favorite album, the, <laughs> um, it's, a, it's a rocking album, just not one of my favorite Jay-Z albums. It's a Sean Carter album, but his tour is currently killing it all across the country. Um, also wanted to say, obviously, I'm very thankful for Anderson Pack. I may be known as a bit of a groupie, but damn, I don't care. The dude is swift. He makes incredible music. <laughs> and he recently released the entire remix album. Well, I shouldn't say entire because not all of the songs made it over. But he and Knowledge just released the Yes Lord remixes. It's 12 new beats. Um... Jack the Third and I already dissected this on a previous show, but what other artist, can you name me, breaks down the album and gives you 12 new pieces of amazing content? I don't know, and for that I'm very thankful, very, very, very excited for his new album to come out, whenever that is. Um, also, just wanted to say, I'm thankful for girls like Rhapsody. Now, she's probably the complete opposite of Cardi B, who's loud, obnoxious, she lets her beat do most of the talking, whereas Rhapsody is very humble, be humble, and she can she can rap for sure, she has amazing cosigns like Pac and Kendrick, Black Thought and others, and her new album, Layla, just came out to near universal appraise, they're actually calling it the female to pimp a butterfly, um, her music is very heartfelt, and she actually, I want to say, gave the interview of the year when she said that people nowadays are making music for the clubs and for the weekends, turned up music. But we live in a Monday through Sunday world. And if you're an avid viewer, you'll notice that I did crib that line a couple episodes back. But it resonates so damn well. We do live in a Monday through Sunday world. So you got to have music for all different types of mood and atmosphere and Rhapsody absolutely brings that to the table, and it's awesome. The uh, Thanksgiving table, if you will. <laughs> Another person that I'm very thankful for is Jadena. Yes, the classic man has actually grown quite a bit since he dropped that single way back in the day. If you listen to The Chief, then you know that he can actually rap his ass off. He can croon with the best of them. He's got a great ear for melody and for beats. He recently dropped a little EP called Boomerang, 
the lead single, of course, the self-titled Boomerang. It's extremely catchy. It's like an earworm that gets in there and you can't stop bobbing your head or singing it. I'm really excited for what he's got coming down the pipe. Uh, the Boomerang EP is really fun to listen to, listen to, so check that out. But last but not least, I'm very, very thankful for artists like Kendrick Lamar. Um, he has been around for quite a while, I believe it's since 2009, and his rise just in the last couple of years has been astronomical, uh, mixed with the perfect balance of ear for beats, raps, storytelling, um, aggressive cadences and flows. He can jump on anybody's track and absolutely make it theirs. Kendrick is a rap superstar. His album, Damn, has not come out of my car or off my Spotify playlist since it was dropped all the way back in April. You can bet your ass that it's going to be in my top 10 rap albums of 2017. Of course, not all about the music with me. I'm very, very thankful for my family and friends, the ones that support me, the ones that don't quite support me, but it's okay, because I've come across a lot of people in my life, and I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, a very special heartfelt thank you. I'm very thankful for the people in my life and of course Dana who probably is gonna walk in any second now. I love her to death. I love her family to death and I love you guys to death. So enjoy the turkey. I hope you enjoy the video. Save some for me. For those that work with me I'll see you on Monday. Bring some leftovers and you guys have a very happy Thanksgiving.